So I jumped in the car and we drove up to La Casa and all the streets were just pristine streets, a million streets, no houses, you know. Teamsters Pension Fund, the mafia behind it, I mean this was the best union made blacktop there was, right? I'm in the hills and watch my friends' trucks rip off over a manhole cover and rolling up over the curb. It, 45 miles an hour, you know, it's like. Yeah. I mean, it was the perfect, again, just the soul surf skating thing. I mean, you go to the top of this big hill and ride for a mile or two. Empty place, big hills, and got to do what we, we, we wanted to do, and just, that was just skate. It's classic. You know, a complete snapshot of the whole skateboard industry right there in one, you know, on one street every single weekend. A Craig and Dave would uh, test drive it on Black Hill, and then Dave would come back to the table and tweak it some more, and then boom, Tractor Trucks is born. You know, everybody was chasing for the latest and greatest equipment. It didn't matter who you were, where you came from, guys from Santa Cruz, come down, John Hudson would come down, and on any Sunday, there would be five guys, there would be 40 guys. There's money, there's a course, there's a winner and a loser. But there, you know, there was no other rule. I mean, everybody's going faster and faster and turning harder. I actually got to, you know, really experience like um, how to be competitive, you know, in, in an atmosphere where there was some camaraderie, but the guys were serious about the race. La Costa was a breeding ground for champions. But if anything, when I think back, of La Costa and the Black Hill, the mid 70s, it's just like, that was my ticket to freedom. It's, it's as if the gods said, we're gonna give skateboarding a break here. We're gonna provide this area for a short amount of time, and when it's done, we're not gonna give you another thing like this. 